look at here. We're back with the author of Tired of Winning, ABC's Jonathan Carl. Now, based on what you know about Trump, um, what, what would the second Trump administration look like? I mean, we have heard from his spokesperson that, you know, those who compare him to a fascist leader like Hitler or Mussolini will have their uh, existence crushed. Utterly annihilated, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, if, so you know, when he gets back into power. Uh, that's just an amuse-bouche of what might happen. What, what do you know? What's Project 2025? Uh, first of all, I think January 6th is the beginning of, of a next Trump administration, not the end. Because January 6th happened after the purge of disloyalists. They weren't all purged yet. There were still people that stood up and did the right thing. Project 2025 is this project to make plans for the next Trump administration. And part of it is personnel. Going through, and, and uh, my friends at Axios have reported they're even using AI, trying to screen out anybody who isn't sufficiently loyal to Donald Trump. Uh, so part of it is personnel. It's just getting people that will do what the man wants to be done. But what does he want to be done? Uh, he is, the, the, campaign, the, the campaign theme is about retribution and revenge. For wants, him. For him to take at, what he says is, they're coming after me because their real target is you and I'm standing in the way. But none of those people paid off porn stars or pilfered classified documents, okay? Um, none of them, you know, pressured um, local officials to overturn an election. What do, you, what do you think? What do you think the next? Because you know, the return of him to center stage for the Republican Party and in, in, in our daily news is uh, chilling to me because I don't like make news or, or report news. I talk about what people talked about today. So I'm a shadow of whatever you real news people are gonna talk about. And he's gonna be a big part of it over the next 13 months or 12 months at this point at least. And I'm curious what you think that campaign is gonna be like because I think January 6th was actually the beginning of this campaign and that we're in for a lot of chaos and disaster and po potential violence over the next 12 months. And can you talk me out of that feeling? Um, I, I, would, I would like to talk about it. I do, I am ultimately optimistic. And look, I've spent a lot of time with Trump supporters all around the country. I spoke to people really close to him who supported him, some who, many who still support him now. Right. And, 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 and I... But he has said he hopes his followers listen to his violent rhetoric. I mean, yes. And he, I mean, he said that to me directly. I went to meet with him when he was still in the White House after the, the shootings in El Paso and Dayton happened back to back. And I said, aren't you concerned that your rhetoric will lead somebody to take your words to heart? And he said, I hope people take my words to heart. Now, I don't think he meant I hope people will go out and shoot people, but he doesn't, like, he doesn't, he doesn't understand or doesn't conceptualize that the words have meaning. He is calling 2024, his words, the final battle. I mean, the stake of our, this, our country's survival is at stake. This is the final battle. And then he's calling for the elimination and annihilation of all his enemies. Now, I don't know I think he means violent, but, I mean, look. That would just be, like, I mean, you know, that would be gravy for him because he would actually, he, he did not try to stop the violence at the Capitol. Perhaps they're more upset about this than you are, Kevin, He's as still he said. joking about the guy that went after Paul Pelosi with a hammer. And, and, and so by the way... So why are you hopeful? <laughs> you ended on a note of optimism. Yes. Right? That's what you um, said. Uh, look, I, I, first of all, I think we saw one reason why January 6th didn't end up a lot worse uh, in the end of that administration, didn't really tear apart our country entirely, is that there were good people who stood up and did the right thing. Yeah. And I concluded my... And I, so I have faith. Hey, Jonathan, thank you so much for thank being you. here. <laughs> Tired of Winning is available now. Jonathan Carl, everybody. We'll be right back with Maria Bamford.